All right, so the Batman movie comes out March 4th, and um, I'm going to see it early because I'm that excited for it. I've been looking forward to this movie for years at this point, so obvious bias there, right? Uh, but the critical reviews just came out for the Batman today, and you know I'm so excited to see the movie. I can't not look at it, and I actually went ahead and read a lot of different little uh, reviews on Rotten Tomatoes, and the film currently is sitting at an 87%. Or on Tomatoes, certified fresh, and it's probably not going to drop below 80%, judging by all the reviews. Um, it seems like the main criticism of the movie is that it's too long. Uh, interesting that that is the only criticism I've been seeing over and over. Um, but another criticism I've been seeing over and over, and it's quite disturbing that I'm seeing this criticism, is the fact that this Batman is brooding and dark. No shit. Just look at what Tanya Lamb from Lola Lamb Chops said. What the fuck is Lola Lamb Chops? I don't know, but this is what she had to say about the Batman. Uh, performances were emotional and raw in the Batman. Good. I mean, it's, you know, a movie. That's what we want, right? Good. That's a positive thing. But you're going to get a very brooding Batman that never smiles. The Batman is not kid-friendly for younger ones. 2.5 out of 5. God damn, there's a lot of stupid bastards walking around. Well, you know, that right there um, had me dying because I'm like, it's fucking Batman. You know, if you want a kid-friendly version of Batman, uh, we got Batman and Robin. You know, <laughs> you can go back and watch that film. They've already made kid-friendly Batman stuff. Adam West show. Batman uh, Brave and the Bold. You know, they've made kid-friendly Batmans. So, you know. She definitely went into the movie with the wrong expectations, for sure. And then you got, you know, reviews from uh, really salty-sounding people uh, like Pablo here saying the Batman is an okay film that thinks it's excellent. <laughs> so, you know, he can't get over how good the film is. He's like, this is not as good as it thinks it is. Hilarious. Uh, I've got a safe deposit box where I keep my uh, jokes. That's very funny. All right, here's another trash review. Adam Grant from Detroit News, so, you know, his life's not the best. Uh, the Batman certainly mirrors the dismal state of the world today. Any breaks from that deariness will have to come at a different bat time on a different bat channel. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my god. So, you know, making bat puns, but also trying to insult the movie at the same time. I bet he's a ton of fun to hang out with at parties. All right, let's read another uh, top critic review uh, from, <laughs> from, uh, from the great Vanity Fair, Richard Lawson. The reality is that there's probably nothing truly novel to be done with Batman at this point. Try as Reeves and his co-screenwriter Peter Craig might, they can't squeeze much higher meaning blood out of the fatally why well, you keep trying to read that word you a fag depleted stone wow that was just that what was he a fucking like king arthur times what the fuck are you talking about man what the hell are you talking about who are you talking to so you know like a lot of these uh top critics and negative reviews are kind of ridiculous let's read one more top critic one christy Punch Co. Uh, imagine if David Fincher made a Batman movie, but it was censored to air on televisions at Walmart. Oof, that's quite the diss at its PG-13 rating. And uh, from everything I've seen, <laughs> and you know, from the trailers, and I've read in some other reviews, uh, the violence is quite intense in this movie. And there probably is a rated R director's cut of this movie somewhere. But, you know, I'm about to see the movie for myself, so I will make that distinction. I mean, I don't usually watch movies at Walmart. Uh, apparently, Christy does. So I'll have to take her word for it, actually. Hey! I know you're about to die soon, but that don't mean that I gotta stop and wait for it, you fucking bitch! Oh, love that. And as far as negative reviews go, like, that's pretty much it. You know, those are the types of negative reviews you're getting, or people say that the movie uh, thinks it's uh, better than what it is, or it's too long, 
or Batman doesn't smile. Like those are the kind of negative reviews you're getting. And most of the positive reviews all talk about the emotional core of the movie being good. It's powerful atmosphere. Say it's super ambitious. One of the best uh, Batman films ever. Somebody compared it to The Dark Knight. So that that's the range of critiques you get. You're, you're either getting it's as good as The Dark Knight, one of the greatest comic book films of all time. One of the best Batman films of all time. It's either as good as that or it's a pretentious film that's too long. And we've already gotten one pretentious film this year that was too long. Here's one of those uh, 10 out of 10 reviews uh, from Jimmy O at Joe Blow Movie Network. I hope that's connected to JoeBlow.com. I actually like Joe Blow. Uh, you know, he's been around the internet for a long time. There's a powerful tone and atmosphere created here. One drenched in a pulpy and occasionally terrifying exploration of the iconic character and those that cross him. The Batman is a bold and brilliant examination of a young Dark Knight. Which, that's exactly what I want to hear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's exactly what I want to hear going to this movie. Um, so, you know, it's, it's interesting how, you know, there's so much praise for the movie. And then some of these negative reviews, they're like... It's almost like they're salty about it. <laughs> you know, it's almost like they can't handle that the movie's that good. Um, so it just gives me more pumped to see it. Um, it is certified fresh. There's no way the movie's dropping below an 80%. It's already got nearly 200 reviews up. It's probably going to have like 300 more reviews when everything's said and done. And yeah, that's your range of reviews come from Rotten Tomatoes. I don't want to read through all of them. I want to keep this video kind of short. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and comment below. Uh, your weirdest reviews that you've read from the Batman and uh, how excited to see it. I'm seeing it later today. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. Um, it's either going to be the greatest Batman movie of all time or it's going to be a pretentious mess that's way too long. We'll see. I've seen both those before. You know, the greatest Batman movie of all time to me is The Dark Knight. The most pretentious, overbloated film of all time, superhero film of all time, is uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League. So, you know, I... I've seen both versions of this. I've seen both ways this can go. And I'm hoping it goes uh, you know, the masterpiece route. I'm all hyped for that. And I'm really hyped for like the world building. And you know, a lot of reviews were saying the Riddler's really scary. And uh, Catwoman does a great job. And they have a great chemistry, Batman and Catwoman. And this is Rob Pattinson's like, best role. It's, just, it's all going to be very excited. You know, Colin Farrell, unrecognizable as Penguin. You know, it's like, I can't wait to see it. And I'll see you all later. Uh, tonight with my actual like live reactions from the movie next time you hear from me i will have seen the batman but anyway that's it for now have a great day bye bye hey guys what if the movie sucks <laughs>